Hey, welcome back to the channel. We forgot what we was gonna say. We, we being me and all the little people inside my head. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are doing a long-term test on this. this is the uh, TYM 2515. This is a legacy model Branson Tratcher. So Branson was bought out by TYM a couple of years ago or the process started. They pretty much finished up this last year. So anyway, uh, TYM has asked me, uh, they're, we're, we're kind of brand ambassadors for TYM and they asked me to test the 2515 out for uh, about a year. So I had a, I had a, uh, uh, viewer reach out to me and goes hey will the 2515 because it's a big frame 25 horsepower tractor will it pull that two bottom plow in a previous video i'll leave a link to the video or at, at the end of this video uh, we pulled this two bottom plow with a t474 which is a 48 horsepower tractor and it did great had no issues there's a couple things that's uh, working against the 2515 right from the beginning. First off, it's only a 25 horsepower tractor. Second off, it does not have loaded tires yet. The other thing is, is there is a, because this has a very short uh, three point hitch arm, uh, it really limits how I can set this up. Uh, that's the only, you know, people don't use two bottom plows very much anymore. Seems like there's a lot of people that are interested in it though. So we're gonna, uh, I guess somebody's using them. Uh, otherwise we wouldn't have so much inter interest in these two bottom plows. So that's a, the shortcoming so far is that there is a limitation of how I, how I can adjust this plow on the back of this tractor. And if you're not familiar running the two bottom plow, there's a lots of fine tuning. I like the little lock tab, you can just pop it with a wrench and lock it in. I think we're pretty close. Ah. <laughs> Doing that. Gizmo likes that. So Gizmo has a P.O. box now. So if you are uh, new to the channel, Gizmo's pretty much in all our videos and he's getting quite a following. People just love to uh, see him play and, and enjoy him on the channel. And we, he's, our, he's our buddy, he goes everywhere with us. But we've had so many people comment saying they want to send Gizmo some, like a treat or a toy that we went ahead and we added our business P.O. box to the, the actual uh, description of the video. We can't like, you know, we can't accept like homemade stuff because we, uh, unfortunately there are mean people in the world. So if you want to send him something, uh, we left some instructions there on how to do it and uh, just thought we'd let you know. It's all muddy now, buddy. You like your pee? That's a UPS guy coming over there. That dude, that's his, it's his arch enemy, the UPS guy. So let me tell you, let me show you over here where we're gonna actually plow. We're gonna put in a pumpkin patch. Now you guys bear with us. It's been, we've been gone and the grass has got away from us, so don't judge. But we're going to put we're going to plow two more rows on this side. We we've, uh, we've actually uh, harvested our potatoes. There's a video out that I'll also put in the end of this video if you want to see the potato harvest that we put in. Those are being harvested, so we're going to plow that back under again. So we'll do, we're going to do three rows on this side, and then uh, another uh, we're going to plow the other side under and go from there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, I don't know if this is going to do it. I mean, it's, a, it's not loaded tire or tires, and I just don't know if it's got enough uh, weight, and I don't know if it's got enough horsepower. Nothing's hitting, right?
there's a couple things going against me. Uh, if you see right there, there were some roots. I got into I got into some roots, and uh, that definitely slowed it down. Second off, this has never been tilled before. This is clay, and it's never been touched. Uh, third, I didn't turn the throttle all the way up. So let's give it another shot. We may still have some trouble on this end because there's some roots. And uh, once we got going, it wasn't bad. I think once these uh, plows polish up, it'll, it'll go a little better. So this has been plowed before. We'll see how it does with the ground that's already been broken up. I was burying that thing too. We were we were probably going uh, 12 inches down. It, it was really uh, digging some big chunks out. It's probably not set up perfectly.
I would say the 2515 is not the tractor for a double bottom breaking plow. However, this same size frame tractor comes in the 25, I think a 30, 35 horsepower, and even a 40 horsepower. If this tractor had the probably the 35 or 30 horsepower tractor with loaded tires, yeah, it would do it, no problem at all. However, with the 25 horsepower, it was everything it wanted. Granted, I was ripping uh, a good 12 inches down uh, in, in virgin soil. I am sure that the plow was not set up correctly. There was it, doing doing this small amount of plowing. There's just not enough time to uh, set it up. First time we've used this tractor, we kind of get it in our 474. We've done it one time already with it. We kind of understand. We're, we're, we're in how we need to tweak it out. This one here is the first time we used it, we threw it on, just kind of went with it and it, it plowed. We got it done and that's, you know, but I think a single bottom plow for the 2515 is probably the right way to go. Mm -hmm.